Alright guys, let's go on to round two. So from here, I have basically just good get Dex and enter the Draco Mancer. So good Dex and enter the Draco Mancer. I think I'm going to spice it up a bit. I've got, uh, I have Dodge and Burn, Hall Champion, Silver Might, Silver Samurai. I've got loads. I'm going to go with the Silver Might because I want, because we haven't played that very much either. And they are actually really good. We haven't really shown them very well. I think I'm getting lag or something, which is why chat isn't working for, properly for me, but whatever. We haven't shown their power yet, and oh my god, this is a terrible hand. It's only got two forests, so draw a new hand. Three forests. Uh, that'll do. That'll do. Uh, I wish I'd got that Rain lead later, but I do have the Cult Arms and stuff. I guess that'll do. Now that could really do it more mana, but that'll do. As I've said, that'll do. That'll do, that'll do, that'll do. That'll do, that'll do, that'll do, that'll do, that'll do. That'll do. Pan is still deciding on his mulligan. Hmm, he's gonna run out of time. Hopefully he ran out of time, then he didn't actually want his mulligan. He might think I'm going into the Draco Manza or Sylvan. He could think I'm going for the champion theme. I actually have all four bre all four green decks. He's also gone Sylvan. Okay, because we've got the exact same artwork. Sylvan duel. Okay. I think a leader with Taunting Elf is pretty awesome, because you just regenerate the Taunting Elf, Taunting Elf attacks. Nothing your opponent can do about it. Uh, yeah. Uh, taunting Elf's ability is that it all blockers must block Taunting Elf instead of any other creature, so... You basically, all other creatures become unblockable, but you sacrifice your Taunting Elf. It's a freaking overpowered card. You know I got Elvish Vanguard, where another Elf enters the battlefield. Another elf, including my elves, end of the battlefield. Great. Well, I'll play this to give my, all my other elves plus one plus one. So he's now a plus two, and I'm a plus three. That's like the best card you can get against my against an elf, an enemy elf deck. Which sucks, but. Because he's going to get plus one. A plus one, plus one every time a creature is summoned. Which is kind of ridiculous. Also, I'm out of mana now. I need one more mana to get my messenger out. And then with my messenger out, I can seriously start killing him. Or one more mana even just for the uh, Renegade Leader with the option to regenerate. Another creature has the battlefield game on life as well. Oh my god. He's definitely got the better draws against an elf army. And one life for every elf on the battlefield. Yep, for every elf on the battlefield, not just the elves you control. No, I think it's got 4-4 four, four already. This is unfair. Why was he thinking to mulligan that? Seriously. Um, was not a forest, god damn it. Heatless one's gonna be good, but... Not good enough. And so he's going to get even more health and more damage from me summoning all these elf tokens, but price to pay. And that works for both sides as well, the coat of arms. Um, I'm trying to think right now. I can keep blocking that. Four, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. I do eight damage in one attack, which is a decent amount, I must admit. If I had four, if I had five mana, I would be able to play coat of arms, so I get an extra plus four for plus three. One to each, so that'd be 5, 7, 5, 10, 15, 20. You could just round it up, and the coat of arms would instantly kill him, which would be nice. Gonna have to block with this guy. He's gonna use his uh, Ball Wishes ability. No, he isn't. That wasn't very smart of him, although I guess he can use it again. Oh my god, I still don't have mana. Very much land staff, man staff right now. 
I'm gonna have to take that eight damage like a boss. Which sucks. He's gonna also have a forest with like nine number of valves I control at least. So that's something. Does he want to block? Maybe. He's thinking about it. I can't believe that he's blinking. Got that vanguard out and I'm not getting mana for the heedless ones. <laughs> well, I guess I can just keep regenerating my elves. Leave this guy back to defend, have him attack, have regenerate on him, and then have that attack as well. So I do 6 damage unblockable, then have him just block this guy and regenerate. Plus a plus 1, plus 1 counter on target elf, creature for each elf you control. Great. Well, that's going to make him too powerful. I'm seriously using his well ability though. I'm gonna have to take that 9 damage, aren't I? Surprised he didn't turn the last forest. The forest, yay! Unfortunately, summoning a healer's one right now wouldn't be the best idea. It would have 10 health, and it would. 10 against 10. But three, five. Wait, three, six plus ten is sixteen plus. Eh, still won't be enough. Let's see some more elves. All right, I'm gonna risk it. I'm just not going to have to attack with any of these guys, am I? So I'm going to have to block that guy with this guy. It's going to be 11, 14. 17, 18. If I get one more mana for the coat of arms, I think I can win this. It's gonna be cheesy, but I'll win it. Alright, another one of these. He should really just turn one of his forests. He should tap this skill so that he has a lot of health and you should turn all this forest into a creature and then completely destroy me because it'll be a 6-6 six, six forest. Attack with 11, attack with, attack, then attack with everything and I've got to lose all my creatures to defend. But of course he doesn't do that because he's smart. I have to get rid of this other elf creature you control, get plus one plus one. Unless no, no, I should block this with this guy instead. I need to keep that plus one plus one from the others. That's why it was one ahead of him, I guess, yeah. If I get one more mana, I've won. Did not get one more mana. And kick this twat and kick this once. Which would make 12, which would make 13, 14, uh, th no. Alright. Which would make it a 12. Make that a 13. Plus 4 is 15. Plus 3 is 18. Fudge.
Make him an 18. Great. But Jorgen himself could then subsequently be sacrificed to save me. If I attack right now, I lose. That's exactly how this game's gonna go. If I attack right now, I lose. But I've lost anyway. He does enough just piercing, straight up piercing damage. I mean, you can just Immaculate Mag Magistrate anything. Wishing well to give him 31 health. Cause yeah, I lost this a long time ago. He's not himself, interesting. <sighs> I only have 4 mana at the end of it. He made so many mistakes this game, but he was just way luckier. He's just got the ultimate elf counters. I've got cards that don't work with his elves, but he has cards that do. And I got mana starved. If I had that battle flag, I might have been able to win. Of course, I would have needed that battle flag like four turns ago. That was luck. Oh well. Two losses. Great. Don't want to get 4 0 here. <sighs> On to the next.